technology do you find most effective for assessing symmetry? Yeah, I, I guess coming from a background, we all come from sports teams backgrounds and taking that into the private world. I guess we're lucky where we go with the teams that they've got the affordability of everything um, and we're, we're all using the technology they can afford. Um, our high performance centre is lucky to have ECU Uni linked with it and actually at the Eagles Centre, so available to the public. So we've, we've got things like DEXA scan, the VO2 max machine um, for running um, the Biodex machine. Uh, and you know, privately got our force plates. Um, so there's a whole bunch of things I think we can use, and it just depends on what you've got access to. And what I love is trying to figure out, you know, how accessible this is. We can help other clinics get this information, take it back to their own sort of workouts, and then use it, and then follow it later and see how much improvement there is. Um, but look, I, I guess um, you know, the force platforms are probably more accessible for the high performance centres, and I reckon. The force platforms are a great way of measuring you know, a number of things, a whole bunch of things. And whether which type you have doesn't really matter, but um, giving you dynamic stuff with, you know, jumping, hopping, uh, counter jump movement, drop jumps, those type of things, looking at the peak power you can get out of that, but also the rate of force development. You mentioned um, like a, yeah, a non-professional athlete that you're working with. Um, from, from a buying perspective, when you do have the luxury of tech, uh, I can imagine that young athlete when they saw that gap or however you explain to the athlete there's a bit of a deficit here would be pretty motivated to, to make a change when they're seeing that objective measure. How, how important yeah. do, you, do you think that is if you do have the ability to use tech but also how important is it your communication with the athlete when there is a fair gap? Yeah, 100%. I guess the communication is a key and the reassurance that we can make a change. I mean, that's why we're all in the business we're in because we know we can we can have an impact and if you... um you have the energy um, that you've got from Woody there, um, as, as shown very clearly, uh, you're going to inspire people to actually work. So you have to actually put them in that environment where it's a bit more, you know, you're not just coming to the normal gym. You're here to work your ass off to get a result. Otherwise, why are you here? Um, mm. You know, you, so if he says a deficit, they're driven enough to do a screen like this, they're going to work at it. But at the same time, the other, the other funny thing is in the sport we play, you've got to be able to be a good footy player, a good rugby player too. So we can get them all up to these levels and give them their best opportunity. And for the athletes that you're working, the non-professional athletes, how does that look? Is that a weekly membership? Uh, is, do they pay for a consultation with yourself to get this screening? Talk us through. Yeah, yeah. well, we've looked at a lot of the websites you guys run and, and we haven't got as many coaches. But it's more of a physio-based clinic turning into the performance um, yep. aspect. So that's where we're going now. We've got a sports science, a couple of sports science guys working hard and, and yeah, developing that energy in the coaches, I think energy is early and care that you want to actually do the right thing. So we're at that stage now. No memberships, just we're doing a lot of performance assessments for other other um, groups. So whether it be Western Force, another club, ultimately yep. the facility's there for the Eagles to do what they don't have to travel too far to have all their testing done. But it's for the public. So, you know, the other sporting teams in, um, in Perth will come along and test an ACL um, client it's 12 months down the track, you know, from the Western Force who's coming back, ticking a box on Biodex, ticking a box on your muscle size you can see on a DEXA. With the ACL athlete there, how often would you see him? How often would he come in for assessment? Yeah, well, look, the surgeons probably like to do a um, – we have a couple of surgeons working with us. Um, they like to do a, a three, six, and nine months, and obviously you're not doing too much max stuff at three three months. Uh, I actually like to use the um, – the, the force plates really early in the stages when they're actually starting to weight bear properly so they're normalizing their gait normalizing their their feeling of squat and weight bearing and you know using the floss bands or the actual um you know air bands with the blood flow restriction stuff early and again you know the strength and conditioning world have been using that for quite a while and we're just getting more and more evidence to support it so you know for, force plates early in the piece i reckon to get activation with our ACL patients, the highest risk is not buggering the ACL, it's, it's popping their hammy. And for those that are listening in, practitioners, physios, sports scientists, like you mentioned, and strength and conditioning coaches in the future, as well as, of course, athletes that want to be assessed in your facility and, and treated by yourself, where's the best place to get in contact? Yeah, well, clearly not as good on socials or on the technology uh, on the computer, but yeah, West Coast website, West Coast Health and High Performance, and Instagram's pretty good on West Coast Health. Um, underscore hp uh, but uh, you know you look up names anywhere and you'll find people so um yeah 
love to um, love to get anyone in there and and help them um, you know get to the point they want to get to and 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 love the passion everyone's showing what they're doing. So thanks for having us on, mate. Awesome. Uh, thanks for coming on, Chris. Absolute pleasure, mate. Well, yeah, it's been great. I'll listen to the chat soon. <laughs>